Hello and welcome to Good Clean Gaming. I'm your host, Jalindo, and today we're playing more Crusader Kings 2, and we have defeated the Ecumenical Patriarch, so we will... I guess we did that right at the end of the other episode. So we're going to go ahead and enforce demands, throw them in jail, and now we can see if that reduces moral authority, because I don't know. Orthodox, Orthodox, Orthodox. 43.5. Yeah, it dropped by 7. I don't know if that was directly because of what we did or not. But now he's in jail. In dungeon... General opinion, negative tw 10. Interesting. Um, cool. Now, if we take this away, what will happen? I don't know the answer to that. This will lower the ecumenical patriarch's opinion of you. How is that inherited? Titular title, no de jure vassals. Open elective, no, no unknown successor. So if we revoke this... Do what? We have the bishopric of Constantinople. But, okay, so basically this means he has no holdings. Okay. I was, I was confused there. Cool. So he has no holdings now. It's basically the, the thing. He's holding less. He is without holding. We can give this to someone else. Like, for instance, the Pope. That'd be funny. <laughs> Grant the bishopric of... Bishop of Constantinople. Grant that to the Catholic Pope. This would be a total, you know, what-if scenario for history. Um, and all titles under Pope. Which, uh, yep. Yeah, the, the Orthodox ground, ground Zero given to the Catholic Pope. All right. That's interesting. Now, does that mean that... No, he's going to keep. He's going to keep the Ecumenical Patriarch. Can I transfer you underneath the Pope? I wish I could. I think they're both king level, so I don't think I can actually transfer one under the other, but that would be hilarious. Let me check just in case, because that, that's that's worth checking. Nope, only only Dukes. Only Dukes can be uh, moved under kings like that. Ah, oh, well. That was fun. Um, ledger? 33.5. So see, it decreased their moral authority even more. So by continuing to do stuff like that, it's going to weaken the moral authority of the Orthodox. And as long as, uh, and the weaker it gets, the easier they're going to be to convert. And our moral authority is 69.7. So they should start converting over pretty quickly, is my hope. I don't know if that's going to happen. I wish my Pope would start getting more money so I could take it from him. I wonder what he's working on so much. Is he working on improving? He might be working on improving like Rome or something. If we take a look at that. Uh, he's probably improving some of his holdings here. Yeah, they're all maxed out there. Okay. Oh, ruler is unmarried. Our wife died. No! I totally missed that our wife died. So what I could use is somebody with more good stats to continue to support our idiot king or idiot emperor until he's dead. It's kind of morbid, but yeah, that's basically what we got to do. Uh, hmm. Courtier of the Ecumenical Patriarch. That would be hilarious. <laughs> Throw him in jail, take away his county, marry his courtier. Uh, convert her to Catholicism. <laughs> Oh, this is so messed up. Um, so we don't really need an entire domain right now, although we could use one extra for Kazixos. Um, so I guess we do want to get a little, a little bit of high stats on the stewardship level. Um, we have a nine up here, somewhere. I'm scrolling too fast. I'm scrolling too fast. Eight, six, ten, eleven. So we can either go like 14, 10, or we can go 16, 8, or we can go 22, 6. I like the 22, 6, because that's not that much stewardship we're losing, but it's a lot of diplomacy we're gaining. I feel like that's worth it. Is there any alternative? I don't think there's an alternative that's better than that. Is it, There isn't a princess of anything, so it's got to be her. Not her. 
Got to be here. <laughs> uh, last check, and yeah, it's going to be her. Cool. So she's going to help us keep things together. And there we go. Marriage. Uh, throw someone else in jail. Yes. Everyone's in jail. How many people do we have in jail at this point? Uh, let's look. Threats. Prisoners. We have 15 people in jail. So we're, we're managing to keep that going at least. Oh, we can banish someone. Banish them. Yeah, sure. Okay. Buy indulgence. What does buying an indulgence do exactly? Never actually done it. You know what? Let's do it. I want to see what that does. Yeah, sure. We'll transfer this guy under you. If he's supposed to be. Okay, absolution. We lose gold, we gain piety. Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll lose gold, gain piety. Then we'll go straight back to him. And he already spent it, didn't he? Converted. Population converted. I'm surprised if he spent that that fast. Wow. Oh well, so much for that sneaky idea. I was gonna, I was going to uh, give him the money and then take it right back. I thought it was gonna be funny, but nope. He uh, he he spent it. Crazy. He must be having some really expensive projects going. That's the only thing I can think of. Fifty six. We got we got a lot more years to go here. Vassal opinion is mostly good. Children like Guardian. We'll fix that. How's our our money situation good? Yeah, our money situation is very good. It looks like our retinues are um, perfect. So we could probably get Baden, population of Baden converted. This is going great. We can probably start getting some more retinues together. Um... Let's see if we can just stay in the positives. That's the main thing. And slowly build these retinues instead of trying to go crazy. Looks like each extra, each extra retinue is going to cost about 5 gold per month. We can even keep an eye, out, eye on it by uh, putting our mouse over it. It'll tell us how fast... Um, It'll show us how fast it's growing. So right now it's seven of two, uh, 17 of 250. Empress Anatolia. Oh, someone's trying to kill my wife. Really? Why? Why would you do this? Oh, because you're int intrigue-based, of course. End plot. Quit it. Betrothed can marry. Okay. All right. We could actually get, we don't have any Gandalf thingies on the list, so we'd have to g give some counties away to get those kingdoms on that list. Majority. I love how fast everything's being converted now. This is, been, this is being very helpful. Um, where's our, okay, our, um, our Pope's still up there doing his job, our chaplain or whatever. How's our 41 of 250? Reinforcing 8 soldiers per month. Emperor Alboin has inherited the Duchy of Anatolia. We'll give that right back to someone who hopefully doesn't hate us. Well, that, one, that person hates us less. Cool. Is that max speed? That's that's amazing how slow that is. At least our money's still going up really fast.
My nephew, King Adhemar, has asked me to spend some quality family time with Bakshirathathe. Sounds nice. So it's a family event. Cool. Who is our strongest vassal right now? King uh, Landpert, the Spider of Italy, apparently is our strongest vassal. He has a good, minute, good high amount of troops. The Pope is actually our fourth strongest vassal, which is kind of surprising. Cool, we strengthen our family bonds. Neat. We're almost, we're about to hit 10,000 prestige here. That's awesome. A small spear throwing contest could be fun as well as helping you train in battle. Maybe you should have arranged as a contest in your court. My throwing arm will amaze everyone. Sure. Everyone in the spear throwing contest is having a great time throwing spears, discussing and laughing, basically enjoying themselves. Maybe enjoying themselves a bit too much as a spear is thrown carelessly while someone is out on the field measuring the distance from a previous spear. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, Hippatios Isaros gains the trait maimed. Poor guy. Some guy was uh, measuring the distance of the spear and got his leg uh, hit by another spear. After dozens of spear to spears have flown through the sky, a soul victor emerges from the competition. No one threw farther than you. This is a glorious day. Of course. No one would, would throw further than the emperor. When you learn to live with war as your neighbor, your time and time, uh, with your, as your neighbor time and time again, will find yourself staring death in the face. I no longer feel fear. So I'm no longer craven. Sweet. We're at almost a 500 gold. I might crank up another retinue. Since these seem to be taking so long. Let reinforcement rate. Cool. Uh... Pikeman. Yeah, let's wait. Because it, it dipped down really far when I did those two. We'll get it back to 500, hit another retinue. Get it back to 500, hit another retinue. It'll work out. Pope is still poor. Frustrating. Durakion has been converted. Sweet. Everything's getting converted over pretty quick. Is Orthodox still low moral authority? They're down at 29.9, .9, so that's working very well. Catholics up to 64.2. Sunni's up to 91.6, so they're converting people like like nuts. They're having no trouble. Things have been kind of calm lately. I don't know if anybody's noticed, but it's been a lot better. I guess maybe because everybody's in jail. I have 14 people in jail. Most of them are, are all my dukes, or some of them are kings. I would say that'd do it. Uh-oh. And we has died. What timing? Um, so this guy has become the heir. I was hoping we'd have a little more time to, you know, maneuver things. But it happens. Pretender to the throne is me. Why am I a pretender to my own throne? Seems kind of odd. Being, being that I'm dead and all. But now I'm this guy. Uh, so be it. And, uh, oh, she's a pretender to the throne. That's weird. Your daughter. So my daughter is my own pretender of my... Uh, I'm my own grandpa. There we go. I figured it out. You have a new heir. Cool. He's not going to be my heir for long because I think once the next child's born, they're going to be born in the purple, and that means they're going to ha have a higher chance of... or a higher right to succeed. Succeed. Um, yeah, he's not the best, but he'll do. Six of six. Everything pretty much stays the same. How do our vassals hate us? Most of our vassals hate us. Probably got a, got a pretty good short reign penalty, if I had to guess. Um, imprisoned. 
Am I missing it? There should be a short rain penalty on here. Short rain 14. There it is. I missed it. Oh well. It'll work. Just continue working on my retinues. Oh, we got more money because we inherited it. Um, wow, our income is really low. I wonder why our income's so low. There we go. It's recovered. Plus 20. Okay. That's better. Just getting a little nervous there. Um, more bows are needed. More horsies. More pikes. More heavy infantry. Mm, oh, we're, we're going crazy again. Let's stop. Let every everybody catch up. See if we're still in the positive after a month. Yeah, we still are. So we'll let that tick back up to 50. Oh, excuse me, back up to 500. We're reinforcing at 73 per month. That's good. We collected a tithe of 184 gold. Thank you, Chancellor. That is awesome. I wish I could get. I wish I could revoke something from you. Oh well. Pope has died, succeeded by another pope. But that pope has a lot of money. Gimme, gimme, gimme. 753 gold. I'll take it. Uh, awesome. Don't spend it all. You wait for me to take it from you. Thank you. I'd like some more, please. Thank you. Can't get. Can't take any more from you yet. You need to have 753 for me to take more. Sweet. Uh, what are we going to do with this? We're going to make retinues, of course. Uh, horsies. Bows. More horsies. Pikes. Skirmishers. Heavy infantry. Pikes. Horses. Oh, excuse me. Horses. Heavy infantry. Trying to have a little balanced. I, I, I don't see any reason not to have a balanced army. I know there's probably some kind of spreadsheet somewhere that would tell me what the ideal numbers are. Let's stop there. We'll probably be in the negative now, but we'll be reinforcing pretty quick. And we got a pretty big, um, you know, we got a pretty big uh, stockpile of money right now, so we should be okay. Ooh, we got a claim to Kazixos. We'll go ahead and take it just to... Now's the right time. We can't take it from you. Why? Revoke. Not revocable. Why is that not revocable? Why? Seriously. Okay, there needs to be a tooltip that tells me why I can't revoke that. Usurp, not possible to usurp county rank titles. Not revocable. No tooltips to tell me why not. We'll just have to wait for a ducal claim, I guess, and take away his duchy. And then revoke his county. Dangerous factions. Lower crown authority. I think we'll be okay. Money's still going down pretty quick. Reinforcing at 185 per month. Losing 16 gold per month. Um, Pope is too poor right now. Let's reduce the retinue um, cost to half. That'll put us back in the positives for a while, I think. There we go, 4.5 in the positive. We'll sit there until it goes back up to 50% and, you know, balance it that way. Another population, population loon, another county converted. I'm loving this moral authority thing. Helping out a ton. So that was, this was a really eventful episode. I'm surprised how things went. Um, 
So I hope you enjoyed the ride. I hope you'll keep watching and enjoying the series. Um, there should be a subscribe button somewhere on your screen. Feel free to click that if you're interested in seeing more videos. And uh, yeah, that's a convenience thing for you. Thank you for watching. And remember, keep it clean.